Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. Now, today, well let's have a look what we did at the end of the last episode because I've made a few improvements since, since then. So let's quickly whip over, whip over here and have a quick look. One of the things we don't get here, of course, is redstone. Now, the way to make redstone in galactic science is actually using a crafter. Well, I'm using a crafter here. And this is going to make moon turf. So if we have a quick look at the uses of moon turf. So if we um, come along here and press moon. Oops, moon. Nah, with an N. We've got moon dirt. And if you look for the uses of that one, that you basically you get your most of your plants and things from there and of course blaze rods moon rock is another one and if we have a look at what you can do with this one this is where you get your most of your early minerals and diamonds so that's quite good and the last one of these is moon turf so moon turf you get flint redstone uh, bone meal bones ancient spores which basically make podzil i think glowstone and gunpowder and I think this is the only recipe we've got for this. So if we have a look for recipes for this one, what we can do is we obviously can craft it, but we won't be able to get redstone ore because that comes from the overworld and that doesn't exist anymore. And the other way to do it is to sieve dust, but we can't make dust either in this particular game because you would normally hammer sand to get dust. And of course we can mine chemit from copper and iron oxide. That's another way to do it. But mine chem's awkward. Not desperately awkward, but it's just a weeny bit awkward to set things up and change the recipes of things. You can you probably may be able to use open computers, and I would actually actually like to investigate that. Anyway, what's happening here? So I'm taking the silicon and the oxygen here, and these have got void upgrades in, so it shouldn't stop the process working. That comes down here, and then it ends up in this sieve here. So what we're doing is we're sieving moon turf and that's then coming out and it's going back along to the input and it should be ending back up in the main area. So let's have a look. I don't need to record size. Let's have a look. We want to go to transmat here. So we should be getting in very slowly glowstone and redstone, which are here. And if we watch those for a few seconds, we should see a number increase, I think. She works reasonably fast, but it sometimes gets a little bit slow. We'll come back and have a look at that later on. But today, let's go and travel somewhere for a change. Let's pick up a different place we've not been to before. In fact, you'll have to let me know if anybody's got any opinions about where what we'd like to do in this series. Because the next episode, I'd like to start to do something I've never done before, and that's to use Endryo's Killer Joe. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at one of the Tard um the Dalek mod places. Spectral world is I think is random things. Gallifrey is one possibility. Maybe we'll save that one for later on. There's the forest in the box, let's try that one. So let's let's get going. Taking off. Like that. Just never been here before, so it's first time for me to see what actually this is going to be like landing. So it's quite a long time to land. Let's get round here, ready for, to look at this scanner and bomb. So we're safe in all directions. That's fantastic. Alright, sounds like we're in a place near Daleks. So let's get my let's get my weapon ready just in case. But let's just check the coordinates. It doesn't really matter because I can always bring the TARDIS to me. Um, that's very loud, wasn't it? So mine is twelve one seventy four. Oh, have we got a Dalek? <laughs> oh, another one. If 
Unfortunately, they're not too difficult to eliminate. Oops. That one brought me back again. So that must have been a big explosion. So let's go back and have a quick look. What have I picked up here? Some snowballs. Oh, some D bullets. I think I had those before, actually. Let's go have another quick whip outside and see what else we can see. There's one of those Daleks. I'm not sure one it is. It does explode. Here we go. Thank you. What else have we got on this planet? Anything interesting? Just Daleks. They should actually drop Dalendic and Mingots, but I don't think they have done. A couple down here. Oops. I think I'm too slow in getting those guys, aren't I? What have we got this time? Got some elect ectoplasm. We got some nuclear discs. And some rice cakes. A few bits and pieces. But it doesn't look too interesting, so we might as well go back to the moon. Oh, that's we got plenty of lava, that's one thing we did have. Let's have a look what else have we got on here. We could save this place. Um, what buttons have we got not used so far? Let's see. That's Venus base. I think I'll save those for the main bases, like Mars and... <coughs> excuse me. I will use maybe one, so done, something like this one. So let's get this to saving mode. And we shall save the second middle one on the second row here. So current coordinates there. Push that back in again. So now we quickly go and get make a name tab and put that onto there as well. So what we do need for that is a piece of paper, don't we? Make a couple while we're at it, I think. I just put those into here like this. And they'll come out in a few seconds. As a name tab tag. There we go. So we call this one forest in the box. So we just need the anvil. That's in the middle here, isn't it? Have I got enough XP? Yes, I have got five. I don't need five. Like that. Now we can take this and put that on that lay on that control, which is this one. So it's now named that one. So we should say the name at the bottom left hand side as Forest in the Box. Fantastic. So let's have a look. Where else can we go to? Europa. I think let's try that one. Not been there either. This is um, another of the, I think the Dalek mod planets. And that was certainly very fast, wasn't it? You have to wait for that to land. In fact, if I bring the thing over here, just get it. No, need to be a little bit more this direction. And maybe I can see it then. Yes, I can. Now, so current face is unsafe drop. So if we turn around by 90 degrees, let's just do that. We should be okay. Where's that control gone to? I think this is the facing wheel here. Yes, and it doesn't matter which way we go. Let's just then start the flight again. We just stay where we are. We don't need to do any other controls. Just take off and land. And then we should be in the right place. And we should be safe. Just check this again. Unsafe drop. So it didn't look as though it turned it around very much. I 
that's a bit strange. I have got the right controls pressed in here, haven't I? I've got coordinated flight. Yes, I have. Mm hmm. And the facing wheel. Let's just try it again this time. Let's double check what it says here. So. Oh, it's safe. Current facing side safe. Good. So it was. I was right. It was just a, but there should be a big drop beside us. It's a few seconds to download the dimension. All right. Well, that must be uh, that must be Saturn, wasn't it, or Venus? I think it's Venus. We're in the. best place in the world to land. Let's go and find a better place to land. And then recall the TARDIS to that place. So it's very high. Lots of ice. What else have we got in here? Packed ice and ice. It's quite spectacular, isn't it? Let's have a look find a nice safe place to move the TARDIS to. That looks like a good place down there. And I also believe there should be Daleks around here as well. Right, so here looks like a sensible place to recall the TARDIS. Let's get into recall mode and right click it there and so the TARDIS will come and land in a safe place here. I don't think there's anything desperate silicate. Oh. Didn't quite worry I'll go where I wanted to do. I suppose what we could do is actually go in here quickly and make a another landing pad and see if we can get that better there. So let's do that. Where's the library? Through the bluish door. I forgot what the recipe for landing pad is. I haven't made one for a while. Here we go. A landing pad. So it's basically four dollar chrono steel and that's fairly straightforward. We should have enough for have all of those things. So let's come over here. So we need one of one block of redstone, and I didn't check the numbers. But yes, but it has gone up. That was thirty-six before, I think. Uh, Chrono steel. We need four of these. And three dalinicum. I think that's three. Yes, that should be enough. Now we should be able to make a landing pad. Oh, yes, I need to make a block of redstone. Now we should be able to go outside and move the TARDIS to where we want it to be. And then, of course, we can do the same thing. We can save this. I've only got, I haven't got enough XP to create another label. Let's put the TARDIS landing pad down here. Now, can I actually dig this up? Oh, I can very easily. Let's put the pad down here, and then now, if we recall the TARDIS, should land on that pad. There we go. I'm not sure if this has got any uses. Let's have a look. So it is the Dalek motor. What do we have any uses for that? None that I can find. Pack dice. Can we? We can dig this up as well, I believe. I haven't used it. It just makes water. Good. Let's put down the silicate in place to get rid of the water, so it doesn't do any damage to anything. There we go. Oh, 
I would have to use silk touch to pick that up, wouldn't I? But I don't think there's anything else here of any interest particularly, as so just it's quite spectacular views. So let's go back into the TARDIS and let's remember this place. I forgot. Let's go back here. Where's the side I need with the contr controls here? That's that. It's the front, I need the back, don't I? Europa, Dimension Europa, or we'll say Dimension Europa here, I think. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to come back again. Push that back in again. And then now we can actually go back to the moon. So if we right click this one, everything should change and we should be back just taking off again. And we go straight to the moon base. And I think it should also put the correct facing side as well. Yes, it looks like that's been moved back. While we're flying around, I might have a bite to eat. So hungry business is travelling around in space. What I think I'll do start doing now is to start the neck. Oh, gone up another layer of um, XP, have we? Level 14. So we've nearly reached the end of the XP, XP levels. 15 max, I think. We don't get anything extra, I don't think, from the higher XP levels, except this thing should be more accurate. So if we should be able to walk straight out of here, back to base as we normally what are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the vat and I need some sugar for that to, to run. I think I need sugar so I might as well get some doing some farming on. Let's set up some farms first of all. So I think we'll, use, we'll start with doing the um, progressive automation farm. So I think that is called the planter isn't it? So we'll take a, a straightforward planter like this. So we need just blocks of wood chest and a, a hoe. It's pretty straight, straightforward. Have I got any blocks of wood I have here? That's good. And a hoe I can do, no problem. Right. So we actually need two hoes for this, for it to work. You need one to build it and one to make the other thing. And what else we want is a furnace. Got one of those already prepared, that's good. And we want some wood and some redstone for a, some upgrades. I'll take some more redstone. Oh, I don't need two stacks, do I? Just about, uh, I think eight will do. I might need some more wood. Take a stack of wood. So now we should be able to make the planter easily enough. Probably don't need much more than the wooden planter. And the other thing we're going to make is um, these. So if we take that here and go around the side like that, we can make some upgrades. Probably need more, actually. So let's just press escape on that. And take another eight of those. That'll be another stack. Because I want to make sugar, and to make sugar we need... Um, what do we need? Reeds. This one. Sugar cane. How many have we got now? Five. That should be eight. Oops. What am I doing? Try to get, you get, do it the right way around. Like this. So now I've got 15 upgrades. That should be plenty for those. In fact, I should put it the way the other stuff. I'm not sure where it's going to get sorted into, so we'll get rid of these. I don't think I've got any places for those at the moment. That should also get sorted away. And sugarcane, I've got some here, so that'll do it with me. So we'll go to the farming area over here, I think. 
I have actually set up some trees over here. I'm going to use these trees for string. I think string is probably the best thing to do with this. So I just filled up this with dirt and planted some saplings, and sure enough. So what I'm going to do, I don't need the wood from here, but we'll put up some... Those, those infest. And here we can put in some farm. So what I'm going to do... Yes, I need some more dirt, I reckon. So let's go and get some dirt quickly. Go back to this and go transmatting across. There we go. I think one stack of dirt will probably be enough. But I also need to put down water. It's gone too far. And that's going to be slightly interesting because that means I've got to do it underneath as well for each of these things. So I'm going to do it here. So basically, if we put down a water block here and around it we can put four um, sugar cane. So let's just try that first. Well, I'm going to have to put blocks of dirt down, aren't I? So if I put a block of dirt, say, I might have been sensible to put it underneath so I need the full box of dirt like this I suppose I could do it like that and then I can put water in there and then the farmer or I'm not sure what the range is going to be for this yet let's go and check so that's then becomes one farm so then I can have another one say here and that will then allow me to do this one, this one, and this one. So let's remove these out of the way for sugar cane. And then put into that this one here and this one here. And while we're doing that, that'll, let's put in, say, the farmer, the planter here. I'd like it to be in the middle, really. So I'll put it in the middle. See what the range is if I put it in the middle. So that has to also be one block below ground. So we hop down through there and we just basically put like that, like that. And then we can put the plant on here like this. And then we can remove this one. And this is where water would be. So I put that down. I need dirt back again, don't I? Like that. So now we come around here, we'll have a look at the range of this planter when we actually put the thing in. So if we come along here now and put our 2015 upgrades in there, it gives me a range of 31. So let's go quickly back and get the... I would have, oh, maybe I've got it with me actually and I think about it. Yes, I have. I've got the PA wrench with me. It's so all I need to do is put this into my hand. Let's do it like this. And then... I don't even need to look at it. It'll tell you the the dimensions it's doing. So it's certainly doing up to here. So this is a 9 by 9 So I really need 81 range. And I put in 15. So let's go and make a few more of those. And it's basically, it's two for each one. So we need 40. So we need another 25 of these. So 25. So let's take the stack. I think that took... I did take two stacks. Um, I thought that might happen. Didn't take the one I wanted it to put in there. So now I've got the 25. Now I need some wood. So I need about uh, quite a few stacks, actually. That'll be four. Four, eight, so 32. So maybe that'll do. Let's have a look. Twenty-four and one more. Should give me the twenty-five. So in fact what we can now and I'll keep the dirt with me and I'll also take some stone. 
Let's replace the bits. Actually, I don't need two stacks of stone, do I? Let's just, uh, I'll leave it for time. Ah, oh, I can put it in here, look. One stack of dirt should be enough, I think. Let's leave it like that. In fact, I don't need, need that wood at all, do I? So we can put the wood in here as well. Right. Gone too far. Those trees are looking, starting to look nice and white. That is the best way to do um, this anyway. So, right, where have we got to? Here. It's fine now, put these 25 in. I should. Let's just put in 24 to start with. 79, 81. So that then should give us the whole of this area. In fact, it'll give us one more because I think it doesn't count itself. It should come and tell me it's doing this bit as well. There you go. So it's doing the whole of this area with 81, which is, which is great. So now all I need to do is to put into here this one and it's not fuel is it so what else we need to put in is we need to put some now we need some fuel and I haven't brought the fuel with me quickly go and get some fuel let's have a look what have we got in here we've got a stack of that we basically want I don't want the full stack I just want about 16 like that and what I'll do is with these I'll take these back and put those back in here and then I'll take these, I think you just do it as fragmented carbon like this. And it'll give me 16 fuel pellets, so I get two stacks of 64, which is what we can use for this. If I press W twice, it gets you into run mode. If I get to the right place, that is. And with that, you can actually put both sets in here. One goes into there, and the other one goes into there. Now we need some water, of course. So then we better get some of that. Actually, I've got plenty of snow. I can't make water out of snow. I need a couple of buckets of water. In fact, I've got those with me. Let's do that before I forget. Let's take two buckets of water and make a quick um, infinite supply of water. Let's do that, say, here. I'll just use a three bucket version of this. Like this. You can always put this back afterwards, it doesn't make any difference. Let's take that one there and that one there. Take two more buckets and put those into here like this, and then we should. Oh, purple. Sugar cane. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. Right. Nearly about it. Let's go and get some more sugar cane. From outside, we've got stacks of sugar cane. I must be honest with you. Guess I need an empty hand on time. Let's just put that like that. And... Sugar cane, we've got loads of sugar cane. Let's just take a stack of it. Yeah, 468 <laughs> stacks of sugar cane. Hmm. But the idea is to automate it a bit so we can then produce sugar. The idea is we want to produce sugar and something like nether wart. I'm not exactly sure what. Funny how greens turn into purple in the TARDIS, isn't it? So I'm going to carry on doing this. I shall basically put another one, say, here. And that should be another centre place, like that. And then that should populate these four here, like this. And carry on doing that, and I'll fill it up. And I will see you next time. So let me know if you'd like to go visit more planets or dimensions. And uh, In the meantime, I'm going to say bye for now.